Welcome back everybody and welcome if you are new today back with another World of Outlaws video but a new track came out for the game finally Oswego is now available in this game you just go to your add-ons and add it all, uh, download it if you have the season pass and all that but uh, we're going to do it in the super late model is going to pick boss man Chris Ferguson here and then all the way over under official tracks Oswego is here finally they added this to iRacing like a season or two ago so have a little bit of experience there and I really enjoy the track I like a long Long, big flat track reminds me a lot of uh knoxville a little bit of williams grove and usa on uh, i racing as well usa speedway and lakeland whatever you want to call it so i think this should be a lot of fun we'll see uh what the, the race settings here everything's on legend we'll do 40 percent race here and see how long that'll end up being and everything so let's get into this we go and see how it is all right going out for our first practice laps here we'll see what we can do I want to see if it looks similar to what it does in iRacing. There's that opening in three and four that's like glitched on iRacing a little bit. Front stretch looks pretty similar. One and two. I think this this place has a lot more uh, shading on this game than it does in iRacing at least. But in a lot more billboards I feel like too. I feel like I don't really see the billboards on iRacing as much. Maybe I don't pay too much attention or I don't have my graphics up enough to see them potentially. That's also another thing. But uh, I'm gonna try and figure out the line here. Did a little bit of a slider line one and two. This thing wants to hook left a lot down the straight, kind of like the uh, micro sprints used to. So I kind of want to mess with the uh, setup and see if I could fix that. So I'm gonna get a handful of laps in here and then we'll get on to qualifying. All right, got down to a 16-2, and that goal time, I believe, is to the pole sitter or the lead time for everything. So we're going to go on to qualifying. I know qualifying is going to be faster. 15-6, that is crazy. We're going to struggle for sure. I haven't ran the super late models yet in the career. All I've ran is the micro sprints and street stocks so far. So I don't have any experience in the late models yet. Wow, I just destroyed the wall there. Trying to like get a setup there to start the first lap. But I fixed the uh, turning left thing on the straightaway a little bit. I just put up, put the offset up to 1.0. I tried 3.0, it was turning right. Went down to like 0.5, it was turning left still. Went up to 1.0 and it, it drives fine. I just need to get used to the amount of torque and everything this kind of car has because there's so much speed this car has and horsepower. It's crazy that I'm not used to quite yet in this game. But I'll have to get used to that once I get up into the super late models and all that. That was a really good three and four down on the bottom. Don't know if that was super fast or not. It was a lot slower. I think my one and two was really bad though. So qualified 19th. And that, I think that would make us go into the feature right away if we transfer out of the heat race here. Top five do advance to the A main. So we'll see if we can try to gain any spots here off the start. Wants to hook right, right off the start. Okay, good to know. Only four laps here in the heat. Get back up in the fifth right away, being on that bottom side. I need to be a little bit better on the start there. Sliding up, hitting Bells a little. Bales? Ross Bales. Hitting him a little bit. I'm trying to run like a slider-ish line at this track. And when the more slicked off it gets, that works really well in iRacing. And we'll see how it works here, honestly. Uh, able to throw a slider on Ross. Let's go up to fourth. That was really fast. Brewing really running that bottom line. He's running a slider line as well. It seems like. Let's see if we can try to get past him, get up to uh, Ryan Gustin. But they're battling really hard for that second spot. I got loose on the sh on the straightaway there, trying to get off the corner and just trying to keep the car straight. I'm like whipping it back and forth. Final lap here. We'll see if we can try to get under him in three and four here. Throw a slider up the track. Is he going to cross us back over? He does. And I'm not able to get back to him. So finish fourth. At least we gained a spot. So that's positive. We're going to start, what, 15th? So starting in 15th, hopefully we try to work our way up to a top 10 spot would be nice. Because I haven't ran the late models much, so. Not expecting to do great, but we're doing the best we can here pretty decent start able to keep it a lot straighter that time as i say that i completely nailed the guy on my outside because i'm, I'm just, like i said i'm not used to these cars at all but i do like this track oswego is a fun track so far it's gonna be a very interesting one in the career mode but i believe this track just came out today they get a caution back there but i do believe the gate the track just came out today it was somebody was saying on my discord so i had to jump on try it out 
show you guys it if you want to go get it or not. I don't know if you guys all have the season pass or not, but this will give you an idea of if you want to get it for this track. And I think Husits is also coming out, I want to say, potentially. Could be wrong. I don't remember everything that is and isn't coming out for this game. Because I get some things mixed up with what's coming out in iRacing as well. Because I know Houston's is coming out in iRacing sooner or later. But I believe it's coming out in this game too. So that would be cool if like they kind of did like a double release. Like this game and iRacing at the same time. Kind of right reared off of whoever that was. Brett Larson behind us. Oh, Jimmy Owens is uh, the one that I right reared off of. And I just went flying forward. We have a ton of tear offs. Like, compared to what I have in my career mode, usually we have, like, just the same amount of as laps or, like, just under and stuff like that. But trying to work our way to this top 10, go get Brett Larson up here. I about said Brett Michaels. <laughs> Try to go up here and catch Brett Larson. Almost did it again. Try to get up to Ryan Gustin. Don't hit that inside wall. Slide up. Oh, I thought I was going to clear him. We did not. Brewing and Gustin going at it again like they were in our heat race. They found each other in this A main. Got by Larson there for the top 10. Seems like I can throw that slider. That was a tight slider, but made it work. Him running that outside lane really helped us out there. Does seem like that slider line works really well for me though. But I cannot wait to get to these in our career mode. That was gonna be, it's gonna be so awesome once we get up to them. It's gonna be a long time though, I know that. But I think they're going to be a ton of fun. I cannot wait. Because right now we're in the street stocks. And I think the next car I'm going to do after street stocks, whenever we win the championship, is uh, the UMPs. And then I'm going to go to big blocks. And then to the midgets and 305s to finish out the local series. Because we're trying to work our way through every series up to the uh, top ranks, basically. Still got seven laps to go. If we get another restart, we'll be bunched up again, and we might be able to get to a top five. But hey, we worked our way up to eighth, which is really nice, and we're pulling away from some of the guys behind us. Getting a little bit more used to how this car drives on this track and all that. But I think the only time I have driven the uh, Super Late Models so far was when I was uh, just checking out the game for right when it came out, and I tried them at Eldora, I believe, because we did the World 100 recently in real life at that time, like a couple months back. So I wanted to try the late models there, and that's the only time I have tried them at all in this game yet. I haven't done any random quick races, just been doing my career basically, so I don't have any experience in this thing at all, but I do like the way these drive. These were my favorite on the previous game, and I'm pretty sure they'll still be my favorite on this game as well. Just like the late model in general, I love having a full body, you can beat and bang a little bit. Have we really damaged this car at all? Not really. 98% arrow, so car's still driving really good. Trying to just keep it off the walls for the most part, because the walls really want to slow us down here. What has been our fastest lap also? Did we hit a faster lap? No, we still have that 229 from practice. Haven't been able to get down to that again, it seems like. But that's okay. Track's getting worse and worse, so it kind of makes sense. Shouldn't be going as fast anyways. Trying to catch Brian Shirley here. See if we can catch him or not. We got two laps to do so. If I smack the ball like that, that's not going to do it. That hurts the right side of the car. I hooked the bottom really well there, but I just don't know if the bottom's fast. So I just feel like this slider works really well for me. And plus, I can kind of take up a whole lot of lanes if uh, somebody's getting a run on me. But the slider works very, very well also. But this track has been a lot of fun. I've really enjoyed it. Who ended up getting the win out of that? I imagine, uh, like, Pierce or somebody up front, maybe. I have no clue who was out front. Pierce got third. Chris Madden out front. Brandon Shepard in second. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. That was a lot of fun. Go get uh, Oswego if you enjoy the way the track looks for uh, the way I ran it and stuff. It's a lot of fun. The big wide corners. I feel like on iRacing they're slightly wider, but I could be wrong. I can't quite remember. Oh, that was the wreck behind me. I didn't even see that uh, the first time because I was not looking up in my mirror. But it seems like a real fun track. I'm excited to try to get this track in uh, career mode as well with it being added. It will be added to some of the career as well uh, through the season. So I'm excited for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Appreciate you guys for watching as always, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.